Hello guys, welcome to the sixth tutorial on learning PIC microcontrollers. In this tutorial, we'll see how to interface a 16 cross 2 LCD display with a PIC microcontroller. We have already went through some tutorials in which we started with blinking an LED and then a sequence of LEDs. In the last tutorial, we learned how to use timers with PIC microcontroller. So all these tutorials can be found on circuitdigest.com and this same tutorial can also be found there so before watching this video i recommend you to completely read through the article because i'll be skipping most of the information in this video so please read through it so now we have the program over here the program which we have used to interface our lcd with a microcontroller so in this program as you can see we have a variable called a and then tris d so i have connected all the um, uh, all the pins from the LCD to the D port of a PIC microcontroller so I have mentioned it to be an output port and you can see some new functions like LCD start, LCD clear, LCD set cursor, LCD print string and all those things so all these functions are required to make a LCD work and I have defined all these functions on on the top of the main function or you can either copy all these functions and use it as a header file it's up to you and now um, if you don't want to understand the co-working of the LCD you don't need to look into all these functions you can just use them so whenever you want to use an LCD you can directly go ahead, or go ahead and use this LCD start and then clear your LCD with this LCD uh, underscore clear command and then you can set the cursor with LCD set cursor so LCD set cursor will put your cursor on the first row first column so LCD set cursor 1 comma 1 is used to put your cursor on the first row first column and the LCD set cursor 2 comma 1 is used to put your cursor on the second row of the first column so in this video I'll just try to glimpse you over through these functions that is the header files so that if someone wants to know what is the actual working inside the LCD screen they can get to know some knowledge about it but before that if you want to thoroughly understand it you should read the data sheet of the LCD so most of the LCD screens have an interface IC this interface IC is called HD44780U and uh, the data sheet of the same is shown over here I have also attached it in the article so you can find it there and uh, you have to read through this entire data sheet in order to know why have I why I have placed those functions over there and uh, uh, what decides the timing parameters and when should the RS go high and when should the enable go high okay now let's start with the program so on the top of the program you could see one four five six six important definitions which you have to make in order to know which pins of the LCD should be connected to which pins of your PIC microcontroller so those six important pins are your register select that is RS and enable EN and your four data lines that is D4, D5, D6 and D7 so I have connected them to my uh, RD2, RD3, RD4, RD5, RD6 and RD7 of my PIC microcontroller so it's up to you so for example if you are trying to use your B port then you can change it over here you can change whatever uh, port you want to select over here and then we have all the other functions which is used to control our LCD so what actually happens is so what actually happens how will this LCD know to display a uh, alphanumeric character like how will it know that it should display a A how will it know that it should display a 1 and all those things um, it, it is instructed to the LCD with the help of the IC that I told you about so this IC will be giving instructions to the LCD on how to display a character and we'll be instructing this IC to know which character to be displayed so here it is so suppose if I want to display a, a suppose if I want to display a, a on the LCD I should instruct the HDD IC to with these bits so suppose if I want a A I should give 0100 0, 0, followed by 0001 0, 0, 1. so for each character there are certain number of bits and this these bits has to be sent to the PIC microcontroller sorry these bits have to be sent to the HD44780 UIC so that it will know which character to be displayed on the LCD so as you can see all these characters have a specific 8 bits so these 8 bits has to be sent through the 4 data lines that I told you about so we have the data lines over here the data lines are D4, D5, D6 and D7 
whether it is a command or a data everything has to be sent through these data lines so um we have to differentiate between command and data to do that we have to toggle between the value of rs and enable i don't want to go too depth into it but i'll just give you a glimpse so you can either send data or command to this data lines but you have to instruct the ic before you send the data whether it's going to be a data or a command so in order to do that we will be toggling the value of rs and enable and uh, this lcd set cursor will set the value will set the position of the cursor using the command so in order to move the command there's a hex value 0x80 if you want to know all the hex values again you have to read through the data sheet it would be given okay uh, um, i can't get it now but it will be given in the data sheet okay here it is so each hex value will have a specific function to be done and those hex values has to be given to the given to the ic in form of a command so for example our command here 0x80 is used to move the cursor so i have used the command lines here and there to explain you what the function is really doing over there and uh, the main function here is this set bits so this is the place where we send all the piece of data inside from our microcontroller to the lcd what this set bit actually does is it gets a hex value hex value of the character or the hex value of the command and then it splits it into bits bits of four levels so it uses and wise operators and it splits it into four levels and then it sends it to the uh, interface ic on the lcd so that's it so the lcd start command is used to clear the ram and all those previous data clear the lcd and clear all the rows and columns and get the lcd ready for working the lcd car is the place where i told i told you right that eight bits which has to be sent through the interface ic the lcd print car is the function which does that so we just have four data lines and we have eight bits to be sent so what we do is we split them into four four the upper four nibble and the lower four nibble we send the upper four nibbles and then left shift them four times and then we send the lower four nibbles so that there will be eight bits of data all together and this eight bits of data will make sense to the ic present in the lcd screen and uh, it will display the respective characters so that's it let's i have already uploaded the program to the screen over here i already uploaded to my pic microcontroller over here so this uh, if you have been following this tutorial for a long time you could see i am reusing the same uh, pic microcontroller that we used i have just used, uh, added some uh, bug sticks and i have made the connections to the lcd so that's it so i have already programmed it let me just power it on that's it so it shows circuit digest and working and i would recommend you to use a simulation simulation mm, using a proteus so that before you actually get into the hardware you can know whether your program is right or not so the simulation also works the same um you can go ahead and give your own names and try giggling around the programs so oh, just don't mess around with the uh functions for now or uh, just don't mess around with the header file functions for now you can mess around with these commands you can uh, clear the screen next and then add your own name or uh, whatever you wish to do so that's it for now this tutorial is over with this uh, in our next tutorial we'll try to do something interesting with our lcd and then we'll see how to print custom characters with our lcd screen